Nowadays, sound design is one of those things that you really need in your videos to take it to the next level. A lot of people don't understand this, and today I'm gonna be breaking down how to add sound design to your videos in the best way possible. So open up in Premiere Pro here, we have this concert recap that I made for Dom Corleo for the song Wake Up. I'm just gonna play it through for you guys. Wake up, wake up, get my bread up, done, done, done. There's only a couple elements for sound design, but it really brought it to the next level. So what we have here, if I go ahead and turn all the sound design off, is the original version was just the song here. And then what I did next is I took the full performance of the song Wake Up and I synced it to the song itself. So we have something like this. And this really brings it to life, as you guys could see when you add the live concert version. takes it to the next level here. Now, what I did as well on top of this is if we go ahead and turn all of these layers off here and we just turn this layer on here, We have fake crowd screams. If you guys want this, you can download it linked below in my sound effects pack that I'll have in the description. What I did was I put this below and I cut it every single time a clip changed. And when it went to the shots of the crowd, as you guys can see here, the difference in volume, I turned it up. So when we play that through with the song, concert audio, and this sound design, we have something like this. Super fire. And everything else that we have down here is just whooshes, risers, and simple transition effects. Now, whooshes, risers, and transition sound designs are super essential when it comes to music videos. I use them on every single one of my concert recaps. They are an absolute must for concert recaps. And I use them on music videos a lot of the time, but they're just a little bit quieter on music videos. So if we go ahead and open up my whooshes and risers pack that I'll have a link in the description. Inside of it, we have concert sounds, which is the crowd screaming. We have risers here. So we have eight different risers. So what you want to do with the risers and you want to drag and drop them in just like I did here for this one. And what they do is they create this sort of buildup. And then when the riser ends, what I like to do is add a whoosh. So if we go into our whooshes here, we have the best whooshes. We have build up fast, medium and slow. And there is a ton of whooshes here. You guys will literally never run out and build up. We have seven and fast. We have 26 and medium. We have 20 and in slow, we have 10. I'm going to go into medium here and I love the way 18 works with concert footage. But if we go through and play a bunch of these, you guys could see there are a bunch of different options. So we're going to drag 18 in here. And what we're going to do is basically just recreate what we did here. So we have the whoosh build up with the sound design whoosh here. And then we turn on these two layers here. It blends in so well. So basically what I do is certain parts where the beat drops or one is gonna switch to a close transition. I'll add a riser leading up to that like you guys can see here for this part and for this part as well. And then I will use certain glitch sound effects here to put in between for the transitions. Super clean, works so well. If you guys wanna go grab these, they are linked below. I'm running a Black Friday, buy one, get one free right now. So if you guys grab this pack, you'll get another pack of your choice for completely free. You just need to add both of them to your cart. I recommend going and checking it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, go check out this new video right here. I'll see you guys there. Peace.